Chancellor Merkel has come under fire after her conservatives were roundly defeated in Sunday's state election. For the CDU leader and her coalition partners, the Free Democrats, the results from the vote in North Rhine-Westphalia are costly and come at the height of the Eurozone's economic crisis. What went wrong? Some members of Merkel's CDU say the Chancellor and her coalition in Berlin share responsibility for the Conservatives' poor showing. The morning after the election at CDU headquarters, North Rhine-Westphalia's outgoing state premier addressed his problem at the polls. I've come to Berlin after a bitter defeat and a long night. We'll be analyzing the election results today. I think we just have to talk about what needs to change, what should change, so we can experience better election nights again. There wasn't enough determination these first six months. If we don't show that, it disappoints the voters and they stay home. And we can't allow that to happen again. The disappointing results in North Rhine-Westphalia are a severe blow to Merkel's coalition and come just as her government has approved a contribution to the Greek Rescue Fund worth tens of billions. On the heels of political defeat, Merkel has put plans for policy reform on hold. During these first months, we haven't provided any tailwind for the government in North Rhine-Westphalia. Instead, we've been a headwind. We could have avoided a lot of these discussions. Now it's time for the conservative FDP coalition in Berlin to be clear on its priorities. And I think that means no tax cuts for the foreseeable future. So, no tax relief for German citizens. The political losses could also derail another part of the coalition's agenda, changing nuclear power policy by extending the life of reactors in Germany, as well as the government's third reform priority, overhauling health care and introducing a flat rate premium. After losing its majority in the Bundesrat, the Chamber of Parliament, which represents Germany states, Merkel's government faces an uphill battle to push through the coalition's policy platform. It's a new position. A lot will have to happen through consensus, and we'll just have to hope the SPD won't resort to blocking tactics because it would cripple the country in this phase of the economic and financial crisis if partisan games took place in the Bundesrat. Governing is bound to become a more difficult process for the conservative FDP government. Amid conservative unrest, Critics say reforms should have come more quickly and claim Chancellor Merkel must show better leadership. Yes, Merkel already has problems with people in her own party, but this kind of grumbling happens in every party. Look at the SPD and other parties. But there's no one in the CDU who would openly voice their discontent with Mrs. Merkel, at least not in the higher ranks. There are several in the middle and lower ranks, without a doubt. She has to take notice of these movements going on in her own party. But the CDU is not a party of revolt. Despite the discontent, Merkel's position seems secure. The CDU can't afford to lose their leader during this crisis. Angela Merkel has proven her leadership skills in both the banking crisis and euro crisis because she's very clearly represented German and European interests. But her fellow Christian Democrats say she needs to sharpen her conservative profile, fine-tune the party's political message, and bring the coalition's FDP partners into line. A challenging agenda for the German chancellor.